Hey there, it's Kalen from Kite, the AI autocomplete plugin for Python. In this video, we'll go over the matplotlib library for Python. Matplotlib is a popular library for creating graphs, plots, and other data visualizations. People use visualization libraries like matplotlib to describe and analyze data, and you'll probably find it faster and easier to use than alternatives like Excel, especially for the large data sets that you might come across. I'll show you how to create a line plot and a scatter plot in this video today. After we make our own plots, I'll share some tips and tricks to customize your plots with titles, labels, and custom colors. Here, we're importing the PyPlot module from the matplotlib library, and we're calling it PLT. PyPlot allows us to create various data visualizations with a high degree of configurability, and Kite suggested the alias of PLT because that is the most popular naming convention for this module. Okay, back to matplotlib. Let's create some sample data that we want to plot. First, we'll create a list of x values, say 1, 2, 3, 4. Similarly, for the y-axis, let's input 5, 4, 6, and 2. To plot this data as a basic line plot, call plt.plot, and then pass in our x and y values. To show what we've just plotted, call plt.show, and run the program. Okay, now let's run the script in our terminal to see what our plot looks like. A line plot is among the most commonly used visualizations in matplotlib. Notice that matplotlib includes a bunch of useful features in the bottom left of the screen. You can reset the original view, go back or forward to view other plots you've made, pan the axes to move around the plot, zoom in, configure settings for subplots if there's any, and finally save the plot to a file. Now let's tackle scatter plots. Scatter plots are used to visualize relationships between variables in your data, such as height and weight. From a scatter plot, we might discover positive correlations, negative correlations, and distinctive clusters. To make a scatter plot using the same values, let's replace plt.plot with plt.scatter. To see this change, we'll save the file, open the terminal, and run the program again. We can also combine plots on the same figure. For example, we can add a new list of x and y values and draw a basic line plot from it on the same figure as a scatter plot. We'll type our new x and y values and call plt.plot on those values. So let's create another list called other x values, and then let's have it contain 1, 2, 3, and 4. And another list called other y values and have it contain 4, 2, 3, and 9. Then we'll call plt.plot and pass in our other x values and our other y values. Let's begin customizing our plot. Say we wanted to add a title to our plot. To do this, we'll type plt.title and then pass in our desired title as a string, for example, sample plot. To label the x and y axes, call plt.xlabel and plt.ylabel, and then pass in strings for the desired names. Here I'll use x values and y values. Finally, to change the color of any of the features we plotted earlier, pass in an optional color parameter. Let's add the color parameter to our line plot and set it to navy. So there you have it. We learned how to use matplotlib to create and modify basic line plots, basic scatter plots, and even combine them into one chart. We also touched on a few ways to swiftly customize our charts. It was easy, right? Well, don't forget, Kite makes things even easier, allowing you to look up parameters and documentation without leaving the editor. It's free to use, and the download link is in the description below. In future videos, we'll build on these basics to use other matplotlib functions and create more sophisticated data visualizations. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get new Python and data science content. Thanks for watching.